to your Manchester. Episode 10. Indeed, no more holidays for you. No, no, but a big thank you to Dan and Carl for stepping in. So, uh, How was your yeah. holiday? I loved my holidays. You like my freckles, I, my I new like additions. the freckles, I like the hair. It took me two weeks to get those freckles and nothing really? else. You're looking remarkably healthy. Went to everybody where you went. Went to Mallorca. Oh. Got remarried to the same person. Remarried? <laughs> 10 year wedding anniversary, you know, oh. so. But you cheated on me. I did. You twice. had two standings. I did. I know. I couldn't do it on my own, you see. They were very good. Country popular belief, I don't like doing it on my own. I love a mm -hmm. bit of Carl and a little bit of Dan, so thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, problem. Now, listen, on the show today, we've got a boy who has always been in the mood for dancing. He is the son of Colleen Nolan and Shane Richard, but he's going from strength to strength on his own terms. That's right. Shane Nolan joins us. Yes, and with the more increasing fashion of staying fresh, one company has thankfully brought us a brand new product called Blackie. I know, I'm glad you pronounced that correctly because I didn't. Plus, so goes from Hayley and not the news from our Lydia. It's going to be a fab show. Where? Your, Your Manchester! Manchester. people will recognise our first guest, the son of Colleen Nolan and Shane Ritchie, and you'd think it'd be easy to try and get into their shadow, but it's not really been for this guy, has it? No. Having known him for a few years now, I can hand on heart say he does quite the opposite. He even made the decision to change his name so we can enjoy the big wide world. He's got a mega fab voice, and when you hear his band are coming, you are definitely guaranteed an amazing night in his company. Well, please welcome Shane Nolan. Shane Thank you for Nolan. introduction. I don't know where I'm meant to go with that now. Did you like that? I loved it. Did it's, you write that? If you could just follow me around every time I gig. And you owe me a fiver for that, by yeah. the way, just so you know. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Thanks for inviting me on. Well, thank you for coming. Anytime. It's, it's nice to have you here. I'm sweating. It is very hot in here, it isn't is it? It is very hot. Yeah. I brought the weather from me over. It's him. Me. It's made it hot. Thank you. It's our yes. guest for the entire week. They're all I've quite lost a couple of pounds. Week. I didn't want to talk about it, but thank you. <laughs> You're looking good. Now, you've, got, skin. you've got your. <laughs> ah, <laughs> ah. You've got your lovely band, haven't you? I have. Yeah. How's that going? Good. Yeah, really good. Yeah. We were actually gigging last night in uh, sunny Butlin, Skegness. Do you ever take a break? No, I, I had a few days off because I lost my voice, but apart from that, no, we're gigging all the time. And are you playing at Blackpool for Pride? Yeah, this Sunday. Yeah, right. but the night before we're in Great Yarmouth. So you are travelling literally yeah, the length of literally, the Yeah, literally. Like last month we did 855 miles or something. That's in three weeks. And do you wow. drive yourself, do you? I drive the nighttime shift, yeah. It's not on, is it? It's not fair. It's not it's fair. Not it's fair. Not the fair. The, it's not the band's right. called Shane Nolan Band. We should be in the same drive, you know what I mean? <laughs> you should have a bus by now. <laughs> I know. I know. You the amount so. of gigs that you do. I know. Well, we weren't skinny. We wouldn't gig as much. Well, <laughs> we, we talked about him changing his name. I mean, that's something that, yes. you know, everybody was going a bit mental about. because he. Celebrity Big Brother was on, your yeah. mum was on Big Brother. But actually, I can understand why you did it, because you were saying you were going to auditions as Shane Ritchie Jr., yeah. but people were expecting you to be like a carbon copy or your dad walking. Well, exactly, and you were getting compared straight away. And it's not a bad comparison, because my dad's a brilliant actor, but my, it was actually my dad's idea, because he said a lot, of pro a lot of producers and directors don't like me. <laughs> so he went, they're just going to not like you straight away. And I thought, oh, fair enough. Although and you have played the same part as you. Yeah, my in, dad in, in Boogie Nights. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did I, that feel then? But I grew up watching it, so yeah. it was like a dream come true. But it was uh, the biggest thing was having the Osmonds in it, and they were like my backing oh, singers oh. in one of the songs. So they were your, the Osmonds were your backing singers? Yeah, they were. And I remember my mum and all the sisters coming, they were just like, because they grew up as big Osmonds fans. Oh, so wow. it was just like their dream coming true, me singing. And I was like, oh. Were they like badgering, going, can, can we get the right yeah, to I'd rather like, support me or something like that. The so has it, been difficult, has it been difficult for you then, growing up? With two very famous parents. Uh, no, 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 because it was I was born into it. It wasn't mm -hmm. like it just happened when I was sixteen. It was sort of like I've never known anything different. And is that why you got into showbiz then? Uh, no, I just realised I wasn't good enough footballer. <laughs> was that the second <laughs> Literally, choice? Literally, yeah. Right, well, that was the first. No, no, choice, the first yeah. choice was I was always a footballer, massive David Beckham fan. I grew up playing, but I still play now. But then I, I was just I was living in Blackpool time. I was eighteen, thinking, what am I going to do? I can't. I've never thought of anything else. And because my dad went, why don't you go be a blue coat at Pontins? You see, now I always say, I always say to a lot of these people that want good training, yeah. the best training is at the holiday camps. Yeah, oh. but I, well, seriously. I'm not, do you know what? Not, maybe not as much now, because they're doing less and less a lot of, a lot of the parts. Yeah. You're either a singer, you're a singer. If you're a dancer, you're a dancer. Whereas when I was a blue 
We did everything. Every I used to it. love it. I used, used to go to food and everything. all the time. Me yeah. as a kid. I used to always win the talent competition. Good. Yeah. Do a bit of Judy Garland, sing somewhere over the rainbow, I win a, made a, win a holiday. Like I, I, I've done it's that. not getting better than that, folks. Cut yeah. it there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, what have you got coming up then? Because I'm sure there's plenty of things coming up. In fact, I know there is, but I don't know what I'm allowed to say, so that's why there's, there's, there's a few things in the pipeline. I've got a few meetings and stuff, and I'd love to come back and talk to them about yes. it when I'm allowed to. Uh, but I can't at the minute. Can you give us a little clue? Uh, the, the stage, television? It's stage next uh -huh. year, television hopefully the end of this year. Uh -huh. But stage next year is going to be really big and really, especially in Manchester and around areas, yeah. And it involves my mum as well. Does it? Yeah. Are you working together? Possibly, yeah. Possibly. It, it'll be out very, very soon. I just, I'm not sure if I'm the last so one it's, to break. it's been done already, has it? No, no. It's just, it's, it's... A, Look at me, I'm like Poirot I'm nearly, speed. I, I really am, I nearly said it then as well, and I thought, no, I can't. <laughs> no. Well, no. I've got a surprise. Yes. Because behind here, I've got some quick fire questions for you. Oh. Are you ready for this? I've, and you don't even know them, I'll, do you? I'll just have my gin. You're all right. Right. right, so I'm going to ask you one thing or the other, and you've got to tell me which you prefer. Okay, sweet. Okay. Manchester or London? Manchester. Peppa Pig or In the Night Garden? Oh, Peppa Pig, yeah. I know every episode. <laughs> EastEnders or Loose Women? Oh, out of order. I love that. Oh, the time is loose ticking. Women, loose women. <laughs> you know, when you said that then, could you nobody else here? <laughs> 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 yeah, exactly. Right? Loose Women, yeah. Loose Women. Um, and uh, Ballad or Rock Anthem? Oh, Rock Anthem. Bell or Shell? <gasps> I've known Belle longer. Yeah! And I love a ginge. Hey. I do love a ginge. There you are. I'll just put them questions over there yeah. to be asked again. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much for having and, me. And uh, we'll have you back when in a few months when that when that programme comes yeah, out? Yeah, end of this year. Yeah. End of this year, and then it's it's going to start next year off really well, really good. And you'll be there reviewing it, I'm sure. Oh. You heard it here first. I'm excited. I'm excited. Thank you very much. Just a shame, no, no. Thank you very much. Hiya, I'm Lydia, and you're not going to believe what's been going on. With the final brass toad nestled at the bottom of the hole, team members from the Black Horse Club jumped in the air to chest bump after becoming world champions at one of Britain's more obscure pub games. Toad, which is said to have originated in France hundreds of years ago, involves throwing four large brass coins, or toads, at a small hole on a lead square nearly eight feet away. Next. Norway's high school graduates have been told to refrain from running naked across bridges and having sex on roundabouts lest they give drivers too much of a surprise, and the National Transport Regulator said on Wednesday. Norway's annual post-graduation period, called Rus, lasts weeks and involves partying and drinking heavily, and tends to challenge public morals every spring. While the list of rituals involved in the Rus celebrations vary from one school to the next, they almost all involve alcohol, nudity, and sex. What's happened to the tree? Whew. Macron and Trump planted a tree at the White House, and now it's missing. The French President Emmanuel Macron celebrated the special relationship between the United States and France during his state visit to Washington. He planted a tree with Donald Trump on the grounds of the White House. Now the oak sapling is gone, at least temporarily. White House photographers noticed that the tree was gone days after it had been planted. Mystery ensued. The problem? Parasites on the tree which could spread to others on the White House property. It was actually a special favour from Trump to France to be able to plant the tree on the day of the visit, an official from Macron's office said. Since then it has returned to quarantine and will soon be replanted in the White House. I've been Lydia and that was not the news. Money knows all about men's products. I find this next product ever so exciting. Although, I do wish you, the viewer, had smelly vision right now. Mm, mm. It's a new, carefully formulated pH balanced wash, and uh, indeed, it actually smells of mint and tea tree oil. Is that right? Mm, yeah. It is. Yes. It's a beautiful feeling for your um, for your downstairs area. Say what you will, but nothing is better than a sensationally smelling. You get me drift. Let's interview. This lovely gentleman, all the way from a brand new product called Balaki. Did I pronounce it right? You did. See, I'm well learning. Done. Yes. I'm learning. And tell us about it then. Well, you, you've done a lot for me, thank you very much. I'm good like that, ah, <laughs> yes. So, as you said, just to reinforce, it is a, an intimate hygiene wash for men. Um, it's not the first market, but it's 
one that is a, a serious product, so it's not a gimmick or something that's going to be in someone's uh, stocking at Christmas or uh -huh. something like that. It's not offensive in, in its branding, therefore I'm hoping if there are any uh, procurement people from the big four that listen to this, they'll think, oh yes, it could look nice on a supermarket shelf. Yeah. So we it does are, look lovely are, though, doesn't it? I believe so. I the, the, believe it's, you've got the um, very, very nice. the way that the bee's done there, and since it's a bee, it's always going to be a good product anyway. But <laughs> it does actually look lovely, and it's it's a little bottle, isn't it? It is. It is. The, the, what you've seen is a, a sample. Yes. Um, the the normal size that we we have on the site is is two hundred mil, which, uh, according to how well equipped you are, yeah. should do about should a month. Last, it should last. Should do a month. A month. Know, yeah. And, and how do you develop a product like this then? How how do you get like the the smell and the look of it right? Are you involved oh, in all of that? I, I designed what it looks like. I went and researched. I did some market research on 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 how it how it should smell because I was looking at what was out there. I was looking at the female products. And I was looking at why partners might be like, sort of oh he's used my stuff again. So I thought oh. There is, a, there is a market for that. And we went out and I sort of tested things. I looked at what I liked and I tested with other people. Mm -hmm. And we said, right, we, we've got a, a fragrance. And then it was all about consistency. Because what I didn't want was, well, it's, it's just a shower gel. Mm -hmm. okay. However, I can categorically say it does not feel like a shower gel. It's, it's totally clear, in, you know, it's translucent. But it, you can tell when you've used it, it leaves you, your skin feeling totally different than than it has before. However, because my forte is business and marketing and selling, uh, and I can't make it and ship it, yeah. I have people do that for me now. Yeah. And my role in the business is to promote it, is to do this, is to do trade shows, uh, is to work with um, wholesalers in this country and further afield, because um, I'm looking at going to hot, humid climes where there's a, a dense you know, male population where um, I can promote the product, and uh, next on my hit list is actually Thailand. Oh, well, they'll love it over there, won't they? Well, I have a man, power of social media, uh -huh. have a, found a connection who can translate my site, do some um, influencing, and can get me uh, onto the, uh, the, the Thai market. So it's going to be big then? Yeah. I believe very much in it. I, you know, I live, sleep, and breathe it. And well, I have to say, a uh, week before last, me and the owner of Canal Street Online, we went for a, a little um, drink and we had a little test just on my hand. Uh -huh. and oh, just on my hand because, you know, obviously. <laughs> and, um, and it just, it feels and it smells, it's the smell. It's the, oh, it's, I wish you could and smell well, it. And the thing beautiful. is as well, tea tree oil has a really nice smell, but it's also got other kind of benefits as well, isn't it? It's, yes, yes. There's it's lots a of, good product. There's lots of cleaning and properties with it. Um, the product, the, the rest of the formulation is, um, it's, it's, antibacterial so it, it does a good job down there mm -hmm. um, and we want to do the right thing so it's it's vegan which you know makes yeah. it appeal to all and it's cruelty free again so we, we're doing the right thing and um, I suppose the question that most people wondering other tea tree products out there they tend to give you a little tingle does this do the same job I can honestly say I had one person say it's like from a snowman I love it. Well, thank you very much. Now, where can we get it? Uh, it's available on Amazon.com, but yes. also on my site, which is balaki.co.uk. Yes. For those of you that are happy to use um, and, and have a go with us at balaki.co.uk, if you've seen this and you want to give it a go, there is a discount code of Canal Street, Canal ST20, which you can get 20% off of your order. Brilliant. As a thank you. Yeah. As a thank you for you and to be here and as a thank you to the people watching. Oh, oh, yes. I would say you need to be on Dragon's Den with it, but I don't think I you don't need think a dragon. You need to. You're, you're there already. You don't yeah. need help off then, do you? Well, thank you very, very much. Now then, we've talked rocks. Let's go over to the cobbles and talk to our Hayley. Hi, I'm Hayley, and welcome to the new Soap Corner. Hope you're all doing well. I just want to start off actually by saying a massive well done to Coronation Street for winning Best Soap Award at the Soap Awards on Saturday. They also won Best Actor and Best Actress as well, Best Villain. And to be honest, I can't go through them all. There's far too many. So a massive well done to all the nominees and all the winners there too. Now, down south in EastEnders, Sonia is absolutely heartbroken because Ted tells her he's seen Martin and Stacey getting passionate in the shed. Ooh, uh. 
back up north in Hollyoaks and Alfie's family will finally realise that he's unwell. He feels like everybody is against him and he makes a run for it. Now, just dashing across to the cobbles, I have to say, I'm very intrigued as to what Rosemary the Psychic is up to next. Will Roy find out what she's doing and who she really is? Mmm, lots of comedy to come there, I feel. Right, that's it from me. Thank you so much for joining me once again, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Well, we're back on Tuesday with Jack T from Urban Massage. And Ackley Bridge star Sam Redford is coming out the closet at Hope Mill to talk to us. So subscribe away and look out for something very special. Yes, indeed. Say no more. Though. I'll just say, see you Tuesday. Ta-ra, flowers! <laughs>